this is the closest I'm ever going to get to being on stage. Andrew Freund here on the set of Glee, where I am bringing you the exclusive interviews with Jane Lynch, Chris Colfer, Leah Michelle, and Matthew Morrison on their Golden Globe nominations. Tell me what your feelings were this morning and how has the show hit its stride this year? Um, there's been a lot of expectations, you know, after the first season of being so amazing and, you know, the expectations were high for this season. And I think it's, I think it's all have to, it has to do with the writers. The writing, the directing, the acting, the, the singing, the dancing, everything that goes into Glee is just, um, it's so great. And I think we're, we're really just performing at our, our best level right now. I think we're, we're like an athlete and kind of, you know, mid-season you kind of hit your, your stride and you're in your best shape. And um, I think that's where we are right now. And lastly, am I rocking the Schuster you cardigan? You totally are. <laughs> Check you out. Right? Look, you got a cardi. I, I know. Actually, th um, unfortunately, this is my personal wardrobe. But uh, obviously the same. But uh, yeah. No, there's awesome. nothing wrong with that. Cool. You know what? Um, the thing is, Schuster never has this thing fully tied. You have to do like that okay. and undo the top button. Button. Now you got the Schuster. Rock. Schuster? There you go. Schuster? There you okay. Go. First of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. So I want to know step by step how this morning went for you. Um, I went to bed last night and uh, I knew that the nominations were coming out today. So I, I felt, you know, just I was really excited and I was just really hopeful, you know, for our show being our second year. And um, I heard my phone buzzing. It was on vibrate. I think I've might have fell back to sleep. I think I might have purposefully not wanted to look. And then, and then I woke up and then I looked and I saw I had a bunch of missed calls and I was hoping that they were positive and they were, but it took about five, six calls and text messages to make sure that I was reading them correctly. And then I called my mom. So, oh, and then I went back to bed. Okay. Yes, because we have a really long day. <laughs> no. I tried to go back to bed. Now, I asked Chris, he's in the same category with Eric Stone Street. I know uh -huh. you are in the same category with Tina Fey. Uh -huh. I want to know if there would ever be a throwdown between you and Fey. Ooh, I would just love to be on 30 Rock. And I, I would just love to work with Tina Fey. I mean, not only her, but all of the other women in my category are literally like just beyond they're beyond and I got to work with Tina for our Emmy special and it was so amazing every take she did was different um, she was always trying out new things and seeing what was funny and so I would just I mean if it meant getting to work with her then sure throw down <laughs> Michelle and Faye oh no I, I would be more like me like wide-eyed like looking up at her like what are we gonna do now now what Okay, is this funny? Do you think that's funny? Okay, great, let's go. <laughs> so, okay, so tell me, you said you have a long day today. Take me through your day today. What, what are you guys shooting right now? Um, we have two choir room scenes. Um, we have our, our basic just wi uh, Will giving us our assignment for the week for the Valentine's Day episode, um, which is going to be being directed by Tate Donovan. So today's my first day working with him. I loved him on the OC, so I'm so excited. And then I have, and then uh, Mark is doing a musical number today in the choir room so we're just gonna watch that so kind of a light a light day for for me and you know the Super Bowl episode is coming up huge TV extravaganza tell me a little bit about what will go on in that episode a lot of football a lot of football. It's um, it, our director, Brad Falchik, um, our writer director. He he did this one. He also did the single ladies episode with the football team. So he's he's our sports guy, <laughs> and he's amazing. So it's really great. We're doing a big musical number in it, as well as some other little songs in there that I think are are some little gems as well. Um, I do a really nice um, duet with Mark, and I'm really excited about. That. Anything you can tease me with? Um, it's a country song, which is different. So I've never done that before. Yeah. And lastly, I have to ask you, Finn and Rachel, or you call it? Finchel. Finchel, which yeah. is a first to me. Oh, really? Finchel, Puckleberry. Um, there's Santana and Brittany have, an, uh, have a name, but I, I don't remember. Ooh, what is their name? Chris, what's Santana and Brittany's like mashed together name? Britannia. Britanna. Uh, Britanna. Yeah, there's right. so many. There's so many names. So what are what are your hopes? Tardy, Artie, and Tina. Sorry, <laughs> I could keep going. What, what are your hopes for Finn and Rachel? Where do you want to see <sighs> them go? I, you know, I love I, I love working with Corey. I really do. Um, and I love working with Mark too. You know, because whenever they break up Finn and Rachel, they always throw in Mark. So that's that's always so great. But as long as I just get to have scenes with Corey, you know, it makes me really happy. Um, but I think that Finn and Rachel are 
um, really great together. So my hope is that, you know, that at some point we'll be back together. But I know that it's like Ross and Rachel. They're like keeping us together and then tearing us apart. So I hope that next time it'll be for, you know, they said that we'd be together this whole season and then they broke us up. So liars. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. No, he knows. I texted him. I was like, "There, people are very upset that Finn and Rachel broke up. I tell them all the time. I, like, exaggerated. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Uh, hey, I'm here with Jane Lynch, Golden Globe nominee Jane Lynch. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Thrilled um, and very happy for our show and, and really happy for Chris Colfer. It's great to see him get a nod, as they say. And, of course, Leah and uh, Matt, you know, I'm just I'm a huge fan of everybody on the show and, and it's nice to see the, the show recognized too, it's great. And what do you think Sue would feel about a Golden Globe nomination? She has so many awards mm -hmm. already, right. what, what would a globe, what does a globe mean to her? Well it would be one more statuette on the shelf, she would probably tell her competition don't even bother showing up because it's mine, uh, in fact they could just give it to her right now, that's what she'd say, I'm much more humble than that. And uh, coming up on the show, I hear that Katie Couric is on the show yeah. and she interviews you. Yeah. Is she harder on Sue than she was on Sarah Palin? Oh, she's harder on Sue. I mean, she wasn't even hard on Sarah Palin. She just asked her, what do you read? And the woman fell apart. Um, she's pretty tough on Sue Sylvester and Sue Sylvester does her best to stand up. She basically calls Sue Sylvester a loser. No one calls Sue Sylvester a loser unless, of course, you're Katie Couric and then I guess you're allowed to. And uh, Gwyneth also on the show. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what she's going to be doing again. I don't know what Gwyneth will be doing um, in the next episode, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of singing and dancing like she did in the last episode. And she really showed that she's, you know, the consummate performer, that she can do it all. And I'm so happy she wants to come back. She obviously had a good time or she wouldn't come back. And um, so I hope I get more stuff to do with her in the next episode. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank now, you're nominated in a category with Eric Stone Street from Modern Family. Mm. So I want to know, will there be a throwdown between you and Eric? Oh, jeez, no, because he could take me so easily. Are you kidding? All you have to do is, like, flick his finger and, oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you smell delicious. Oh, thank you, thank you. You smell sorry. like victory. Thank you. <laughs> you smell like victory. Apparently. I, I Sorry, I had to tackle her as soon as I saw her. I said I would tackle her and, and had to. Um, no, he he is so fun. Like, I've done an Emmy roundtable with him, and um, he is hysterical stories about um, doing commercials and, and, and you know, just trying to make it as an actor. And, and no, I, I, I have nothing but respect for him. So um, he can beat me all he wants to, but, but I won't hit him. So are you excited for the night? Tell me, are you already thinking about what you're going to wear, what you're going to do? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll wear maybe kind of a grayish suit because I've done black a lot. But that is as far as my train of thought goes. Now, you, you're not 21 yet, right? No, I'm not. Do you, if I win, do you think they'll card me? Like, do you, I mean, I think, I think oh, that's... A, it's I the Hollywood think. form press. It's true, right. So, right, and everyone drinks from the 13 over there. So, you know, so I don't know. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Upcoming on the show, anything you can tease me with, little tidbits? We've heard Katie Couric. We've heard Gwyneth. Mm -hmm. Any any other... What about you? What's going well, on? I mean, your guys' guests are really just as good as mine. I mean, we're, we're only like two more episodes in than, than what the world has seen. So we have like the Super Bowl and we have Gwyneth coming up, which I, I kind of found out today. Don't tell anyone. Um, and... Um, so yeah, we got we got a lot of great stuff coming up, um, and I think the Super Bowl episode is going to be amazing because the first paragraph of that script made me like, ah, just just made my mouth fall open because it's so incredible. Can you tease me with any numbers that are coming up? Any songs? Well, Thriller, but everyone knows that. But um, that's the biggest one. Wait, and have you shot that? Um, I'm not in it, so sort of. Have you seen any of the footage? No, I've not. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm just fully. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs>